Hello, how you guys doing? My name is Davis, also known as The Awesome, and you guys are here for a The Awesome message. So I'm over here guys at the Vessi. This is around 33rd Street, 9th Avenue. It is beautiful out here. I do love a city with great nature. I do love nature guys and I, it's beautiful out here. Just amazing. But anyway, today we are going to be talking about being alert and of sober mind. I mean, this is huge guys because uh, in the past, I have made many mistakes because I wasn't being aware, being mindful, being alert. So I uh, had to overcome so much because of the mistakes that I made. You know, many times I had to learn the hard way. Hey Amen, you know, better than the hard way, than no way at all, right? So I have a scripture I wanna share with you today. <clears throat> and this is in 1 Peter chapter five, verses 8 and 9 so it says here be alert and of sober mind your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour resist him standing firm in the faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings amen so I love this scripture right here. Being alert in a sober mind. We're gonna just talk about that. Being alert in a sober mind. A lot of times, guys, our mind is so complacent. It gets there sometimes and we just think freely. We do things freely without giving careful thought. And next thing you know, we run into a brick wall because we wasn't thinking straight. I mean, have you guys ever been in that situation before where you guys was not thinking straight because you guys were like birds just flying just being free and and not being aware of your surroundings not being aware of what you're doing and you know, like i said in the past i have fallen short of a whole lot of these things because i was a uh, i struggled with rash decisions you know coming into the kingdom over 10 years ago very emotional I react uh, according to what I feel but now I had to learn and one of the things I had to take in deep consideration is this scripture right here in Haggai chapter 1 in Haggai chapter 1 verses 7 it says here this is what the Lord Almighty says give careful thoughts to your ways so this is going to be very helpful if you apply this scripture to your life uh you know you have a lot going on even with this pandemic there's so many people that has the coronavirus this thing is just like everywhere and notice this people are getting it now the questions we got to ask ourselves is are you being alert in a sober mind? Uh, Government Cuomo is giving us all the whereabouts, the protocols, what we need to do. You got the whole wear a mask. Are you wearing a mask? We got the social distance, staying six feet from each other. But here's the thing though, guys. When you around public, NTA, being alert, sober mind, you gotta be alert of the people that are ill, that is around you. You gotta be really aware. If people around you look like they're having allergies, they may be sick, you know, coughing a lot or whatever, why are you gonna sit next to them? It does not make sense. That's how things get to spread. And uh, also, you want to do your best to stay as much feet away as possible. Uh, you just got to just make a judgment. 
That's why you just gotta be alert. And so my make your best judgment, but don't walk blind side of guys. Uh, one thing I do, you know, I have gloves. Anywhere I go, I have my gloves, got the mask. So if I'm going to the MTA train, I'm not touching anything unless I have gloves. I'm not gonna touch the seat unless I have gloves. I'm not gonna touch the pole unless I have gloves because I'm being alert. You don't know who's touching those poles. Maybe the, the, the maybe 30 minutes ago, someone had coronavirus and they're in the train and, and they coughing in their, their hand no one's around and and they touching your chair and then you get in and then you touch the chair do you understand how this thing goes guys being alert in a sober mind also now i want to use this in a in a different way now spiritually do you guys love getting open with your discipler that you have blown it it's a on good it's not a good feeling Getting open with your disciple that you bloat it with your purity or whatever it is, it's not a good feeling. So here's the way we could think that we could use our mind in this situation. Notice this. If you fell short in watching porn, or if you fall short in masturbation, or if you fall short in sexual immorality, how is that gonna look and feel when you tell your discipler this. It's not a good feeling, guys. It's not. So guess what? A, a, a great way of how to go about this is don't do it at all. If you don't do this, guys, if you be disciplined, according to 2 Second, Timothy 1.7, power, love, and self-discipline, you'll be spared from embarrassment in this situation. And guess what? And you don't have to face fears of like being put before the church if you blow it in sexual immorality or uh, or constantly in sin and you're not repenting. It's just, bro, be alert and a sober mind. I know that I don't I don't want to face that situation. I have a Bible talk I'm leading. How could I have it in my heart to stand in front of the church while my Bible talk people are looking at me in front of the church that I've blown it? It's not a good feeling, not a good example too that I'm leaving. You know, and I've seen these things, guys. I've seen this, even amongst leaders, I've seen this. The thing is, you know, it's just all about faith and, uh, and conviction. And do you fear God? The scripture says the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. That's in Proverbs. When you have this fear, you're being alert because you know that you fear God and you know that God can do all things. He has the power to give and to take away according to Job. I also want to make sure that, that I don't do wrong for wrong. I don't take revenge or just, uh, nah. I also got to make sure that I'm forgiving I gotta be alert because if we don't forgive, Jesus is not gonna forgive us. I mean, you know, how many times we've done something wrong, we wanna be forgiven. And also guys, passing judgment is huge too as well. It's not good to pass judgment because you wanna be mindful. Because here's the thing guys, every single one of us, we was brought up differently. Some of us in the kingdom was brought up with uh, parents that were high school dropouts. Some of us were brought up with parents that were college graduates. So we, uh, some of us was brought up uh, with uh, lack of education because how we was brought up. Some of us with great education. Some of us got trained really well in college how to think straight. Some of us never been to college. You know, there's people in every single category. Some people was very obsessed. Some people was very envious. Some people were very rash, don't think straight. Some people were very emotional. Some people were very insecure. There's a lot of things in the character flaw that we have given into, that we have struggled with through our lives. And we come to the kingdom with this. So we need to make sure 
that we consider where the person is at and not just be quick to pass judgment. If you are a college graduate with a master degree and you're discipling someone that is a high school dropout, you cannot compare yourself to him. Or if he, if he messes up, you can't just rebuke him because in your eyes, you know, you, you know that's not good. But guess what? He don't have the same brain as you. He wasn't brought up like you. So you want to meet him where he's at and be loving. Love covers a multitude of sin. So all this is just being alert because the devil is right there roaring like a lion. He's waiting to devour. So one thing he wants to devour is people that don't use sober judgment. It's people that are not mindful. People that are not alert. That coronavirus could be like a devil. You know, it's waiting to get somebody. Are you alert? Or you want it to come after you? Which one? You know? So, that's what I love about this scripture. And guys, every single one of us go through hardship of all kinds. And uh, we want to be with each other, guys. And we don't want to point fingers at, at other people's, like, it's their fault. Why point fingers at people with your own mistakes that you made? The Bible teaches you how to go about all kinds of things. The Bible teaches you how to go about conflict, how to go about unity, how to go about addressing people, etc. The Bible has all the answers. Being alert, being a sober mind, like, okay, I'm going I'm to think fast to get my answers from the scriptures. So, guys, if you've got to pray for wisdom. Wisdom is very important. The Bible teaches in Proverbs the importance of wisdom is greater than gold you need wisdom i prayed every single day for years that's part of my everyday prayer for more discernment being more mindful having wisdom it hurts a lot from the times that i've blown it you know in this area where i heard it brothers or sisters feelings because i wasn't using my head so i know how that feels it's not a good feeling so i don't want to keep feeling that way so i got to be more mindful more alert you know, so guys, in closing, I just want to encourage you guys to really go after this. This thing is real. And if, and if you have fallen short a lot and failed a lot and not having sober judgment, thinking you could just go this way and, and that, that direction, and you think it's all good, but little do you know there is a dead end. Like, guys, you gotta be alert. Don't walk blindsided. Keep your eyes open the surroundings be alert guys when you are in meetings and zoom meetings at the at our events we have like bible talk devo leaders meeting being alert if you notice everyone is sitting straight why are you the only one sleeping you know you know like imitate guys uh, don't try to be special think about others above yourself guys i mean Think straight, guys, you know, and um, I'm telling you this because I messed up a whole lot and I don't want you to make the same mistakes I made. Trust me. You may not handle it well. And uh, I've seen over 100 people has fallen away because they did not think straight. Anyway, guys, be alert in a sober mind. Amen on that. Don't give way to the devil, guys. Don't leave a foothold for him to get you. I love you guys.